Yesterday, I received a mail from a sister telling me, I heard in one of your lectures where you said that try fulfilling Salatul Tahajjud at least once a month or once a week and see how it changes your life. And she says, I just want to bear witness that I started doing this and it's changed my life. And I know it will. And I know it does. Because Allah promises. When you get up to pray to Allah while the others are asleep, you're not equal to them. You've now arrived at a new level. Don't let it make you feel when they wake up. Listen guys, you guys were asleep. I've arrived on a new level. Not at all. We're not boasting about it. But they may not know or they may know. So what? You cried to Allah. Warm tears. You got up and prayed. Two units of prayer to begin with. Just two. Too much? In fact, you know how it starts? Let me tell you how it starts. It starts with not even getting up for prayer, but setting your clock and getting up at a time when you know that Allah Almighty calls out, saying, who is there asking me? I can give them. Who is there seeking forgiveness? I can forgive them. Who is there repenting so that I can accept that repentance? Just get up and say, oh Allah, I know you're calling out right now when the third of the night remains. And here I am seeking forgiveness. Forgive me. I'm weak. Strengthen me. Grant me the ability to do the right thing. Create a barrier between myself and that which displeases you. Amazing dua. That was a dua of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet he did not need it. He made it, O oh Allah, create a barrier between us and that which displeases you. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. Oh.